Live from the WTC studios in Milton, Pennsylvania, it's the nearly famous CB show starring Chris Hatton and Brandon Kozer. And now, here are the stars of the show, Chris and Brandon. Man, man, keep it coming, keep yeah, it coming. Yeah. Uh, so, hey. Well, welcome back to the CB show. Mm -hmm. I'm Chris. And I'm Brandon. Hey, we haven't done that in a while. No. But, uh, Mix you know, up the audience, uh, yeah, we got to keep them on their toes. But uh, let's get, uh, I guess, how's your week going? It's going. It's a good week. Yeah. Uh, you know, we definitely had a good week. Uh, looking forward to next week. Yeah. You know. We well, it's Christmas. Yeah! Christmas. Yeah! Christmas. Are you all done with your shopping? Um, I'm pretty sure I am. Okay. You have to ask my wife to make sure, but I'm pretty sure that I am. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, she does all that. So, you know, shout out to her. Great work. Good job this holiday season, as always. So, How about cooking? Uh, yeah, we don't do that. No, no cookies? No, oh, bacon. Yeah, Jackson really loves to bake. You know, he's really, he really likes his mm. way around the kitchen and him and mom normally. You know, well, if you need any eggs, eggs, let me know. I got a guy who knows eggs. I got a guy. I got a guy. So, hey, uh, well, let's get, you know, as we're talking about the week and next week, let's, like, let's get right into our favorite segment. The Weekly Update. So, uh, Weekly Update, you know, another good week. Uh, we had three this week in class. Yeah. Uh, two from Virginia, Charles and Elizabeth. Ooh. And then we had Brennan from South Carolina. Ooh. So, you know, good class, good week. Definitely welcome them on board. Uh, glad to have you. And, uh, you know, but on top of that, another great week. No DOT reportables and no lost time injuries. Yeah, so, you know, I mean, just. Everybody's, uh, I guess we're, uh, when we say no lost time injuries, it's a holiday season. We want to be, you know, putting those toys together. You want to be spending time, right. quality time with That's family. Right. And, you know, so you're getting home safely and uh, no injuries is a place to it's part in that. Very right? huge. That way you can enjoy the holiday and yeah. enjoy your family time what with no setbacks. Absolutely. So definitely a great, great job. So as I say, all the men and women out there doing their job. So great job. Thanks a lot. Keep up the good work. Yeah. What else we got? <coughs> uh, I got nothing else on a weekly update. I mean, no. Pretty simple. Pretty good week. Yeah. How about you? Well, let's talk, uh, you know, first. People are probably wondering, you know, I know Tom D. I'm not sure if he's, you know, I think he's still, he watches. He's still watching. He doesn't yeah, comment he's much, busy. but he's probably wondering what these things are. Yeah, a little new addition here, yeah. too. Yeah. So, you know, my, why, don't I, why don't I take it? So there are awards. Great, we like awards. Absolutely. <laughs> right? Like awards. So, you know, this is, um, if you notice, this is, we, didn't, we haven't highlighted this before, but that's 2020, and what I'm holding is 2021. So awesome. Two consecutive years. And uh, yeah! it is a regional impact award presented to the PLG group, right? And I'll just quickly read it. In recognition of your commitment to making Virginia's New River Valley a better place to live, work, and do business. Oh, my God. Selected for the expansion announced in August 2021, resulting in 63 new jobs an $11 million investment to Pulaski County. Oh. So this is uh, down there in Virginia. You know? Awesome, yeah, uh, beautiful down there. Great expansion. Beautiful down there. You know, it's nice to get awards. It's nice to get recognized for, you right. know, our investment into the, the community down there. And, uh, you know, it's a great place to be. Great, way, you know, as far as, the, you know, uh, the, the workers and, and the, you know, the teammates that we have down there. Um, just great people, right? Yeah, definitely. Yeah, you know, so beautiful area too. I, never, uh, I love it down there. <laughs> it really you go down there and you pull up to the warehouse. It's just gorgeous <laughs> yeah, all around. Right. So definitely. So we do have some expansion there. You know, obviously we got warehouse uh, expansion open up, and then we're going to have ex expansion on that warehouse. We got, uh, you know, projecting the new terminal mm -hmm. in, in in that uh, right across from the warehouse. So, and um, you know, in a couple of weeks we're actually launching the electric truck out of there. So, right. uh, just. Huge growth, you know, Lots great, great, Lots a lot of, of great things. things. The but um, you know, I, I like you know, again, highlighting awards is always a good thing. Yes, definitely. <laughs> so, so uh, other than that, uh, you know, we talk about uh, getting home to our families safely, and and um, you know, one of the cool things, you know, we have this team, this team here, you know, between Watson Town and PW. But you know, I want to highlight you know, this PW. There's a couple guys this week that. Uh, are enjoying their, their time off, you know, yeah. and they, they hit the hills of uh, Vermont and, um, you know, uh, are enjoying having some fun. You know, they're young, 
you know, why not go skiing, snowboarding, you know, enjoy yourself when you can, you know, For sure. you get, get old like us, you know. <laughs> Listen, skiing was never on my alley, so I did it one time and it was uh, not a yeah, good thing. I, so. I, I got to share this, I went last year, and I got introduced my kids into skiing, you know, and, and stuff, so, but to do that, I have to go out there and, you know. <laughs> Yeah, I tell you, I, day uh, after or so, <laughs> I couldn't even get back up. Week after? <laughs> yeah, it yeah, was rough. I hear you, buddy. I it was rough. I, I made a fool of myself, but hey, it, you know, it's introducing you, you, you know, you're used to the To what you're you used to love. Yeah. yeah. So, uh, you know, for the, you know, Alex River, Mason, Cole, Brandon, you know, they're all having fun up there. So, shout out to them. And I do want to highlight, you know, I got to know Alex and River a little bit that, you know, uh, on a side note, they, they helped us. We talk about this North Carolina expansion. And, you know, Alex and River and, and actually Jim, they all hopped in a car. We were, we needed some support down there. Hopped in a car and Took eight hours off. later they were down there and uh, worked through a midnight shift and then stayed down there for a few weeks. And, you know, I it's team teammates like that yes. that make it happen. So a special thanks, you know, um, to all of them. But, you know, those three I just want to highlight. You know, the work that they did was tremendous. And, you know, um, you, you know, to hop in a car and go down and, and uh, hop on a forklift and go to a new place and just, just great. Great to have those kind of people as part of this. this and team. those kind of people is exactly what helps support right. the growth. So it's yep. awesome. You know, great. We have, we have many examples of that, but it's just, you know, I just recently, you know, we talk about North Carolina. So and with that, you know, I think I wrap up the, the weekly update, but I do want to talk, you know, so we are speaking in North Carolina again, a great, you know, expansion and, and opportunity has, has come to us down there. And we're having a lot of fun. But, you know, we talk about weekly trivia. Mm -hmm. So last week, no we didn't have a winner. They didn't have a winner. But, didn't have a winner. You know, you can see the answers. Had, they were a little tougher. I did see a comment a little, a little tougher. A little I tougher. had a couple people reach out to me, uh, you know, asking, is this right? And, mm -hmm. uh, and it's interesting. Like, I feel like they think that they shoot one group of answers that they can't follow right. multiple. If the answer is no, you're wrong, you can keep firing them in. So really, it doesn't matter how many guesses you take, you know, you can just keep going at it. So. And, um, uh, you know, Michelle, I saw she collected her. She did. She, she was shirt. in here to collect her she shirt. Sure, that's yep. great. So, uh, you know, uh, leading that, uh, we're going to talk North Carolina. So I, I thought let's have some fun with uh, some three questions here. So let's get right to it. Question number one. In what year did the Wright brothers take their first flight in Kitty Hawk, North Carolina? In what year? Okay. Okay. Question two. This one. I, I like this one. Um, what syrupy drink was invented in 1893? Uh, I'll give you a clue. So its original name was Brad's Drink. Brad's Drink, right? And then it changed its name in 1898 to this popular name that we know today. Okay. And still around today. And I'll also give it a second clue. It's still around today. We have some of these cans in our warehouse down in North Carolina, <laughs> so that's kind of funny. So um, there you go, question two. So now question number three. Uh, you know, uh, this is a good one because I think you go Outer Banks, right? Uh, Myrtle Beach, I've been to the Outer Banks a few yeah, times. Yeah, it's a lot, yeah. Yeah, hot spot. Lot, yeah, very hot, hot spot. spot. You always see sure. those signs uh, on the back of the, the people's car. The OBX. The OBX, oh, yeah. you know, oh, yeah. it's like a club. <laughs> All right. <laughs> so uh, the Outer Banks, question three. The Outer Banks region is known as this. Is also known as this. So, clue. Five, over 5,000 ships um, have shipwrecked in this area. Hmm. So over five thousand. So All right. it's uh, you know it's kind of a interesting, we'll see, interesting trivia there. Yeah, so, definitely. Um, you know, again, uh, I was gonna say you know why they call it Tar Heel State, but you know I thought these might be uh, definitely. You I mean, know, you're, you're staying with the hard, the yeah. hard trivia trend. I like but that. it is nice that <laughs> we the PLG group has made the Tar Heel State. Yeah, right? so they're down there, so that's great. almost. Uh, there's another thing, Tobacco Road down there. We are on Tobacco Road. We're in the Wake Forest zone, but you know you talk about. What, Mm -hmm. well, who else? Who else is a big college basketball? I Duke. Remember. Duke, yeah, they Duke. always do pretty well, right? Yeah, they're And right. there's another other small little school down there. Cause some famous guy, number 23, came yeah. out of. But yeah, North, he, Car North, North, North Carolina. Carolina. So, yeah, you know, Rocky, yeah. there's a, Dawson, all these oh, guys. Oh, there's in a big inner yeah. office rival mm -hmm. there, Duke, North Carolina. <laughs> Tar Heels, De Blue Devils. You're right. It's good. It's always good for basketball season. So there you go. Well, let's, um, what's next? What we got next? Uh, I think that wraps up our weekly updates. Yeah. So let's, uh, you know, I mean, trivia is done. Weekly updates done. I mean, I have uh, my safety tip. Oh, of the week. yeah, this I like. We these. could do this. I like this. This is fun. Uh, all right. Well, let's, <laughs> then let's do uh, our safety tip of the week. Yeah. All right. So uh, 
This week I decided I was going to focus on following distance. Oh, yeah. You know, following distance and uh, the reaction time and how, and how severe rear end collisions mm -hmm. are. Um, so really uh, 2.5 million rear end collisions happen a year, okay. which actually makes up for 29% of all accidents. Yep. And 6% uh, of rear end collisions result in death. No. So, I mean, it's kind of, it's definitely a very severe accident, yep. one of the worst out there. Um, and uh, so I also pulled this slide together that you can look at it and see your, uh, the, the following distance due to how long it takes to come to a complete mm -hmm. stop. So, you know, as you see on the left-hand side, it's reaction. The, your reaction time from the time you see the hazard presented till you apply the brake, the vehicle actually right. starts to slow down is there on the left in that one color. And then it shows you how far after the brake is actually applied till you come to a complete stop. And obviously, oh, a little interruption there, <laughs> but hey, welcome. <laughs> but uh, then you can see how long it actually takes to come to a complete stop. Mm -hmm. And obviously the road conditions and everything change on that. So reaction time and following distance is huge. And so definitely make sure that, you know, you're giving your distance that uh, way you can always expect the unexpected. Yeah, I think, uh, you know, we did that Smith training uh, years back. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, one of the things I believe, you know, it was they were mentioning like six seconds yeah. following distance. And you, when you actually do it and you apply it, you know, you, you pick a mark and you count one Mississippi, two, you know, and, and get it your six seems seconds. like forever. It but does. But then what they're training us and, and the whole mindset is it doesn't matter what, you know, you're going to have cut, trucks weaving or cars yep. weaving and out of you. You keep you keep keeping that distance. In reality, you're going to get there just as quick as somebody else. And it goes off like what you were saying last mm -hmm. week about you know your wife racing yeah, my home, wife. Yeah. and then you you know you're pulling in she's getting ten out seconds of, after. Yeah, she's getting out of the car. So, but we, but I mean, thank God you're both safely at what you're getting to. Mm -hmm. But when you're traveling these thousands of thousands of miles mm -hmm. that we do millions of miles every month. Keep that following distance, get there safe. That's that's what we're really striving for. So. Well, it, you, when we talk about that rear end collision too, one thing to add to that, you know, you talk about, um, it's not just a death, you know, it, rear end causes oh, way, the lots, whiplash, yes. neck injuries, back injuries. And, Major injuries. And then, you, you know, again, it, it comes but down to, you know, we care about not only ourselves, but the other motors out there. Everyone and you don't there. know what they're doing ahead. That's the unknown. You can, uh, you can control what you're doing. You don't know what they're doing with their cell phones or, you know, uh, or what's going on in their Any mind, you know. That they have, yeah. Yeah. They're out there daydreaming right. and thinking about all the problems that they have. And, you know, so, so we definitely. just keep that distance. We're going to be OK. So yes, that's a lesson learned. So, you know, <laughs> the, you know, we talk about that safety tip, but let's talk about the reality. What has just occurred? I'm sure many of the audience have seen this, but, uh, um, you know, a, a, jury well the judge's decision came out on right. the, the Colorado accident you know a truck uh, if for those that don't know a truck was out of control coming down one of the mountains slammed in uh, behind uh, uh, there was a traffic accident ahead but he right. could never get stopped and uh, blew into them blew and killed four or five caught people fire burst into flames yeah, yeah so bad. The, the jury you know convicted him of a bunch of charges but reckless driving and, and stuff so you know one of the excerpts is this this gentleman now has 110 years yeah. um, and it's consecutive sentences for all the charges and it's just the way the law was out in Colorado so you know the judge actually said if I if I could do it differently I wouldn't have done it consecutively but it's just the way the law is so mm -hmm. here's this gentleman and he pleaded that you know hey man you know, I wasn't intending to hurt anybody that day um, however you know th what the prosecution had said is he, and the judge has said you you didn't make decisions Correct. Quality decisions. There was to opportunity prevent the to prevent. There was opportunity for you to get out, you know, go on them yeah, runaway run ramps. Runaway ramps and mauled up two of them, two yeah. of them, if not three that he passed on the way down. So yeah. he just said he was reckless. He made mm -hmm. reckless decisions. And here he is. He's 26 years old now and he's facing 110 years. Um, you know, so he's in, basically he's going to pass away in jail. So um, the severity of the decisions we're making out there. Mm -hmm. You know, um, even though you didn't have the attention to kill or hurt somebody that day, here he is, he's 110 years. So, and that just goes to show the importance of pre and post trips. Mm -hmm. You know, make sure that we're checking our, our machine, uh, you know, truck, trailer, they're all machines. They're all going to break down, they're all going to have issues. Make sure we're thoroughly checking those and reporting it and getting it to work in the best of ability. Mm -hmm. So, and yeah, and be mindful of the decisions that we're making oh, yeah. out there, right? Definitely. Um, uh, because you end the tent doesn't mean that you're still not. 
going to be held liable Correct. for, for the, the end result, in this case, for people's lives were lost. So in that split second, it happened. And so, um, you know, I guess lesson learned, I think what you reiterate is, you know, we got to check our equipment. What else? We got to know our, know our routes, yeah. know the surround, know what kind of mm -hmm. conditions you're driving into, you know, check the forecast. But also, like, this is coming down off a huge hill mm -hmm. out there in Colorado. So, I mean, you know, steep mountains. You have to understand where you're traveling and, and be prepared. And, uh, you know, just being prepared and being in the right gear and going the right speed right. is, uh, you know, the best, safest way to get there. Yep. So, um, you know, I guess that'll wrap up. This week, yeah, uh, but 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 yeah, anybody notice the points that is beautiful, yeah, you know, we're really right into the holiday season. Man. Yeah, this is awesome. Um, but for that, people, uh, speaking of which, um, today at some point you're going to see a text message come out. Um, you know, uh, learning you to check your email, and so in that email you're going to have a, I guess you'd say a promo code, um, a little gift from the patent family, right? Yeah. Um, yep. You know, uh, for a for an Amazon. Uh, so, you, you know, if you don't have an account or you do have an account, you'll have some uh, some money to apply to an Amazon to purchase maybe a gift for yourself or for a loved one or, you know, yeah. or me. Yeah. <laughs> or you. Okay. okay. Right. Either one of us. Yeah. So, um, again, look, look, be on the lookout for that. Um, well you know. deserved. You know, obviously it's a well deserved gift. Yeah. And, uh, you know, as we say about our sponsors and everything, we couldn't do it all you know, without them, but this is definitely just another way well-deserved that, you know, they're looking out and they're taking care of this, the family, you know. Yep. Hey, and uh, you, the other thing is, they may, some of our team members may see us out and about. Yeah, yeah, keep an eye out on keep us. Keep an eye and we'll be a little shout out, we may give it a, you know. Uh, may bump into us <laughs> so, so. so until next week, again, thanks to the Pat and Logistics Group and the family and companies, and uh, be safe and, and uh, take care. Have a good week.